Hi there, we're very excited in this video to introduce to you the latest control panel um, from Happy Industrial Corporation, which is now a part of the latest uh, Happy Inverter machines coming off, off the line in, uh, in Japan uh, where the machines are designed and uh, produced. And uh, there's the several models here are all getting the same control panel, which means that um, for the operator who learns one model inverter machine uh, from Happy, means that they can instantly operate uh, those other models as well. But we want to get to the most exciting part here of this uh, new screen here that you see here, which is that, uh, first of all, that it's a touch screen, and it's got some new features. Uh, the most obvious one that you can see here is that it's got a little screen saver where you can add custom uh, messages of your own or custom pictures, just like your uh, uh, computer desktop screen saver. Now, uh, let's go ahead and learn a little bit more about this by uh, go ahead and touching the screen, uh, which is take, takes us to the uh, startup uh, boot screen here. And um, it shows us a couple things. Uh, the first one is the, the currently selected hoop, which we can change here uh, to pick up whatever uh, hoop that we're going to use for the current project at hand. Um, by hitting that button, we can see the different categories of round, square, uh, caps, or even custom hoops. Uh, in this case, we'll pick a round hoop and uh, the different uh, model round hoops are available for the machine are here. Uh, by picking one of them uh, and hitting set, uh, you'll see that that uh, makes some things that are easier here when we start uh, operating the machine. So let's go ahead and do that by hitting the next button, which takes us immediately to the, uh, to the uh, home uh, drive screen here. And you can hear that little noise, the machine does a little self-test stuff on startup. And uh, we can see some uh, important information here on that main drive screen. And we'll show you here uh, shortly how you can perform uh, just about every function you need to operate the machine right from the screen. For example, you've got uh, the design here in color that uh, shows you what it's going to look like. And then also to the right of that, we've got a little sub-screen here that not only shows the design in miniature, but shows the selected hoop that we just picked and about where that's going to sew in the hoop. So we can change that if we want to or even change the hoop by going to the button that's in that section so it uh, makes a lot of sense to have a button right next to what you're looking at that uh, lets you make the change. And you can see a, that uh, hoop image and then the sewable area in red uh, and a much bigger close-up with the design area here in blue. So we can change the hoop if we want to with the same button we saw on startup to a different size hoop in case we don't see that it's fitting. Um, and we can also have other controls here that will adjust the position, like these arrows here, for example. Um, will let us uh, move the design position around um, and we can go as exactly as we want to and put it anywhere that's within the allowable red area and as long as we don't cross that area like we just did here um, then we won't hit the hoop so we also have that useful reference um, of seeing where we're going to sew and we can back that up by hitting the trace button here um, and what that does is by hitting the play uh, button will actually um, move the arms of the machine um, as it points to the edges of the design where they're going to fall. So you have two references to check your fit and position of your design within the selected hoop. Other useful features here in the screen uh, are uh, frame out for uh, helping you with applique, instantly centering the design. Let's say we want to move that to center, just hit a button uh, and instantly you can see how nicely that lines up with center. Going back to the beginning if we want to, and other, again, useful features in the hoop uh, selection and uh, design positioning screen. Um, we'll go ahead and get out of this. Um, you can see by getting out of it, we want to go back to our main sewing screen here. Um, there's a little home button here that's shaped like a little house uh, and in this bottom right corner. So if you're in any other screen other than your main sewing screen that we're here, uh, we see here, we can just look down here and escape back out by looking for that little home button. Uh, as another example, uh, for, um, this has changed to a menu uh, little screen here, and if we hit the menu button, then we can see other sub functions in here and the other screen, and then just by, again, hitting on the home button, we can get back. Let's look at the other uh, features here that we need to accomplish a sewing task. Um, we've selected our hoop um, and positioned it. We'll also want to uh, uh, program the colors. Uh, for example, the design we have selected here has eight color changes, and each one of those sections is highlighting and showing the uh, current color cone that's assigned to that. So we can um, change that. Let's say we want to make this section here that's uh, highlighted in color 
um, sew out in a different color, let's say red. We'll find the needle number that has the red cone on it. Um, in this case, it's number one, and select that. And you can see that when we hit that, that, that will actually um, change that to a red color. So if we go back to that color change, you can see that's red. And we can see as that we make changes to the design, let's say we'll make this section here, we'll make that blue. Um, and let, as we make changes, we can always uh, glance uh, very quickly at what we're looking at here. And there's other neat functions in here that also let us uh, um, reprogram these colors to wherever we want to move the cones, the color cones anywhere on the machine. Um, even little useful features like uh, setting applique stops, uh, telling the machine to stop at certain points for applique and frame out as, um, as well. Very useful in this uh, main, uh, main uh, color setup screen. So going back to the main sewing screen again, hit our, uh, hit our uh, home button here and that takes us back out. Let's see some of the other useful features. Uh, we can set our maximum allowable speed with a little speedometer here. We can see that's uh, max set to 850. This particular machine, uh, the HED-1501, uh, is happens to be able to be set to a little bit of a higher speed here. We can get to that, and we can also do this during the machine sew out if we want to as well. And then the actual speed will display here as the machine is sewing. So for example, um, we're ready to go by programming, making sure that fits, we've selected our colors. We can simply hit start and you'll actually hear the machine operating and sewing. And you can see a progress bar here. That, um, and this will uh, move across the screen as we go through the different um, stitches. And we'll pause that here and you can see that we can even jump forward or backwards to any position in the design from this screen here where we can move it uh, forward by color block, jump to a particular stitch or even just kind of jog forward by 110 or 100 stitches or, or by color change forward and backwards. Going back to the main screen, um, and let's go ahead and um, let's revisit some of these other functions here in the main menu to kind of close up. We've seen some of these features like uh, already like needle and frame, uh, but uh, the most important one here uh, for setup is uh, reading in a design uh, from a thumb drive or uh, pulling it off of a, a PC connection. We can read in designs from this screen here. And then also we can, uh, once designs are loaded in here, the happy machines to the new ones can hold millions of uh, stitches worth of designs. So we can have a hefty library here that we can manage uh, and group them and organize them into subfolders and do other uh, utility functions like uh, erasing, copying, duplicating designs, uh, giving us basic information about each. So great uh, library manager here that uh, comes with our uh, uh, embroidery machine. So a lot of uh, functionality, uh, settings for adjusting the machines and designs it's, uh, itself and the way they behave, onboard lettering uh, with a nice uh, handy virtual keyboard so we can type up um, some quick monograms. And uh, also uh, other useful functions, uh, here's uh, production reporting that uh, gives the operator an idea of how often the machines run to so get an idea of uh, uh, the kind of progress uh, the machine is making. And uh, also some, uh, you might have seen earlier, there's onboard networking where we can actually put this machine on a, uh, uh, on a network of several happy machines, allowing operators the flexibility of controlling several machines at once. Um, and also, uh, we've got other features like uh, this onboard guide that lets us uh, lets new uh, operators understand basics such as hooping, threading, and needles. And all, this is all part of uh, uh, Happy making uh, their machines much more uh, user friendly and easy to be produ um, productive uh, as quickly as possible. Now, here's the screensaver that we saw earlier. By loading in uh, custom images here into these slots from a USB drive, we can actually um, customize that uh, screensaver here as well. And finally, uh, last but not least, uh, this exciting feature called iCustom lets us customize uh, some of the buttons on the front screen. Uh, for example, if we wanted to, uh, if we wanted to put a, a time and date and display that up front, we can do that. Or, um, for example, if we wanted to uh, automatically be able to center design from a single button push and we want to put that at the top icon we set that and let's go ahead and see that out of these little uh, uh, out of these little options that you have you're customizing your tiles just like a uh, 
smartphone or a tablet. So escaping back out to the main menu, you'll notice that centering uh, button is now up here. Um, so this entire right side is customizable to the operator's preferences, uh, letting you style and customize your Happy Machine to your, uh, again, for greater productivity and ease of use. We hope you've enjoyed this short demonstration of uh, the Happy uh, touchscreen control panel. And uh, for more information, check out this and other videos at www.happyemb.com. Thank you for watching.